6 10. Y'all know my morning voice. It's 6 10 in the morning. Excuse my head. Um, I am at my mom's house this weekend. We are throwing a party for her 80th birthday. <clears throat> and um, Nikki brought me up yesterday, which was Thursday. Today is Friday. Um, the party is tomorrow. Marcus is coming tomorrow and then we're going to spend the night Saturday night and then head straight for church what's going on with my head um, we're going to spend the night Saturday and then head for church on Sunday morning yeah. um, I don't think I vlogged on my um, lifestyle channel in a mm, couple months <laughs> Uh, we've been real busy. Uh, last week, we went um, to a friend's church to celebrate their 15th anniversary as pastor. Um, him and my husband both became pastors around the same time. And so last Sunday, we went over to his church and celebrated with them. Uh, by now, you would have seen my Vera Bradley um haul and I'm starting the morning out we have to go out and run a couple of errands today I don't know how long this vlog it might be two parts um I'm not really sure yet it'll more than likely be two parts probably leading up to the actual party tomorrow don't know how much vlogging I'll do tomorrow only because um we're cooking a lot of the food and so today I've got to do pasta and tomorrow morning I've got to do a big pan of string beans. Um, it's the same pasta that I did in my cook with me video. I put a link below to that. And um, yeah, so when I got here yesterday, I basically just sat down and hung out with my mom. Um, I was real tired yesterday because I had been doing a lot of prepping, preparing for the weekend because um, not only am I cooking, but I'm decorating the facility that the party is going to be at. My sister and the twins arrived today. Um, she's making my mom's birthday cake. Um, I got a couple of cousins who are cooking. Um, my girls are involved. Nikki and Byron are in charge of beverage station. And my mom had requested a what did she say it was? A um, ice cream bar. So my oldest daughter, um, the one that I went to Disney with, she is doing the ice cream bar. So today um, we've got to go out and run a couple of errands. I've got to pick up a couple of things that I wasn't able to get beforehand. Marcus went, I think it was day before yesterday, and picked up quite a few of the things that I needed grocery-wise to bring with me. So that's what we're going to be doing today but I am trying to just kind of sit and chill because my mom is still asleep and um yeah she doesn't wake up like I do in the middle of the night I think I went to bed like around 10 30 and I woke up the first time I think it was like two something I did go back to sleep and then I woke up again at 4 30 and I've been up ever since then so now it's after six um but I had said in my Vera Bradley haul that I had purchased two more items to go with my overnight bag. And they came in just before I left to come here. And so I did use them. I will say they are bigger than I thought they would be. <laughs> so they do take up a lot of the bag. So I think if I was like to be using them on a regular trip that I would probably put them in a larger suitcase and then use my overnight bag for like essentials um when i used my bag a couple of weeks ago i think I was at my mom's i think i was i don't even remember now i'm trying to remember what did i come to my mom's for anyway when i used it um i um had my laptop bag in there um, but I couldn't put it in there this time. So the bags do take up a lot of room. So I think I would like 
use them in a different suitcase and then use my overnight bag like to keep some essential things in. So I'm going to show you these two bags because I bought two. I bought one for my hair products and I bought one for toiletries. And yeah, they're a lot larger. I should have looked at the um, uh, measurements for them on the website, but they are a lot larger than I thought they were. But again, they were a good price. And so I'm not mad that I got them. I love this pattern. I wasn't really sure originally if I was gonna love the pattern, but now that I've had it a while, I really like the pattern. So I'm gonna show you those. And then I'm gonna read um, for a little while. At some point I'll get up and make mom and I some breakfast. And then when we get dressed and get ready to go, um, I might take you along with me. I'm not really sure. I try not to do a whole lot of filming um, with my mom because she's not really a YouTube person um, so but I definitely want to video tomorrow for her birthday because I think she's going to be really surprised she knows that she's having a birthday party um, she doesn't know that Nikki is going to do her makeup for her birthday um, several family members are going to be there I think we got like 60 people coming and I know that everybody plans to like kind of spoil her and my mom is not a kind of person who like would have ever asked for a birthday party but she wanted to celebrate her 80th birthday and when you guys see her you'll be, you'll be like she's 80 yeah good genes running our family I'm like what is going on y'all um, just ignore me I don't know what's going on with my hair and I keep looking and thinking it looks like like my hairline receded but I think it's just the way I have my scarf on my head. Anyway, so yeah, I think she's going to really be surprised. Um, one of my cousins, um, she watches my um, channel. Hi, John Anna. Uh, she had texted me a couple of days ago that she wanted to send mom some flowers. And she was asking, should she send them to the facility or should she send them to the house? And I told her to send them to the house because I was really worried that maybe they wouldn't. There wouldn't be anybody there to receive them if they got to the facility too soon or whatever. Um, and so they came yesterday and my mom loved them. Um, when there's more light outside, I will take a picture of them and, and insert it here. But yeah, she's already, I had a cousin who couldn't come and he came by my house and left a card um, for her birthday. Her birthday was actually in October. She's actually born on Halloween. But um, we had been trying to set up this birthday party and we had an original date that was actually, I think the day of her birthday. And then it, um, it didn't work out and we had to reschedule. And so that's why we're celebrating it in December rather than October. But yeah, I think it's gonna be a great weekend. We get to see a lot of family. Um, I know I'm gonna be busy. I, last night when I got here, I washed um, some tablecloths and rewash some runners that I'm going to put on the tables. The color scheme is blue and white and silver. And my, my daughter who decorated her room when we went to Disney, she's in charge of like this um, backdrop that we're going to put up with uh, streamers and balloons and AD, uh, ADF balloon um, so that people can take pictures with my mom. <laughs> Um, my mom's music, favorite music is Motown, like 1960s and 70s Motown music. So we're going to have Motown music playing in the background. Um, it's just going to be like a party. It's not going to be like an actual like program for her birthday. We're just going to have like a meet and greet where people can walk around and talk to each other. And then um, we're going to have Grace and people can eat. And then there's going to be music if they want to do a little dancing um and then we're gonna do like um let a few people say something about mom if they want to and let my mom say close remarks we're gonna feed everybody cake and then we're going home because we had a facility from 10 to 4 p.m um and it's down on the water uh, so if the sun is out I'm hoping the sun will be out. Then we can even take some pictures outside with family members. And so, yeah, 
I'm really excited about it. Um, it has been a little stressful. We had a couple of setbacks, but um, it's going to be still a good weekend. So um, I think that's about it. So let me show you guys these two toiletry bags that I thought were small and then found out were pretty large. Okay, so this is my um, overnight bag that I brought. It has a zip pocket in the front. I got my keys in there. Um, then it has this little pocket where you can put things. I think I just have a, some trash that I need to throw away. And then, oh, what I really love about it is that I can put it on the back of a suitcase because it has the, um, the little pocket thing that you can put over, by, over your handle. So, give me a second, I gotta open it. Okay, so see, this is one of the toiletry bags. Like, it's actually pretty big. I did not realize it was gonna be so big. Um, and this one is the... Okay, this is what I have my hair stuff in. And it is actually... Can you hang it up? I can't remember if this is the one you can hang up, but it's like a trifold. Oh yeah, you can hang it up. I'm hoping you guys can see this. So I have an extra scarf and a headband here. I have some hair gel. Um, it has a loop on it, so you can hang it up. It has a, um, yeah, it has a loop. And so you can hang it up this zip part right here i've got like extra headbands okay the price on this was i might have to put it in the comments i mean i might have to put it in insert it in here because i can't remember exactly how much it was but yeah that has like extra hair bands and bobby pins and then this section has um, my brushes, some hair grease, um, a spray bottle, and some shampoo and conditioner. And so it's got one, two, three, four compartments, and then you can fold it. Like I said, I hope you guys can see that. So this is what it looks like when it's closed back up. And like this is my hand, so that tells you how big it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty decent size. So next in the bag is these are my um, vitamins and my pills in a pill box that matches. Um, and I have my umbrella because it is supposed to rain on Sunday. This is almost like a mini pack with me bag, but after I've already packed everything. And this bag is a um, sweatshirt and a pair of tennis shoes because I need those for when we go out today. I think I'm going to wear my tennis shoes today. And that's in one of my Ikea um, uh, packing cubes. And then this is the next bag. Anything else in here? $29. I don't know what that was. Okay, so then I have like a little compact um, what's this thing called? Manicure kit. Yeah, little compact manicure kit. And my husband gave me this uh, keychain just before I left to come. So I need to put keys on that. And then it's like I said, it's got these extra pockets in it. I'm still learning how to really pack this. Like you can see, it's 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 a nice size bag, but it really is just an overnight bag. And so um, I don't know that I would necessarily use these uh, toiletry bags for overnight. But I love that I have them now. And then this is my toiletry bag. I think it's called a deluxe toiletry bag. And it's a um, one that you can hang on the door too. And it was a lot larger than I thought it was gonna be. And then, so inside here, it's got one, 
to three compartments, but the way it's set up is this pocket, this compartment right here is huge. And so, yeah, so you can carry a lot of stuff in it. And it's lined with plastic so you can wipe it down. Um, so I've got washcloth, some um, lotion, some body spray, some, uh, what is this? Lotion, body spray, shower gel, Q-tips, hand sanitizer, deodorant, some Vaseline. I do keep toiletries here so I didn't have to bring everything. Um, up in here, I have a shower cap, a couple of different um, medical plants. I have psoriasis, and so I have some psoriasis cream. I have some uh, antibiotic, anti, anti, triple antibi, antibiotic cream, um, some tweezers, and some oral gel for if you have a tooth issues, tooth paste and my toothbrush is just not in here right now so this one i could see maybe taking one of them because i think i could even get some of my hair products in this bag um but i like kind of having a separate bag for my hair products um from my regular toiletries so this one i'm gonna zip them so yeah but it holds everything I need and it does have a handle and so you can hang it up on a door and then when you close it you just stick that inside and then you tie it and so that's everything that's in that bag and then also I had my tech bag in there with all of my um, like cords and things and then in this bag this was the Vera Badly tote that I was telling you guys about that I've had forever. I got it from the outlet in Orlando. Um, it has a front pocket that right now just has a fan and a pin in it because I do get hot from time to time. It does have side pockets. I don't have anything in those. And then... Inside this portion is my laptop bag, my portable fan, my wallet. Um, this is like my little emergency bag. I keep hand lotion, hand sanitizer, lip gloss, tissue, extra pills. Um, I keep that in there. These are sunglasses. This is um, a jewelry case. And like I've got like um, blue light glasses, a pen. Um, what else is in here? This has my battery for my laptop. I mean, not my battery, my external hard drive for my laptop. And then I also have a mouse pad. No, a mouse. Um, and that's in this little bag. So, yeah. That. And then the only other bag I have is... Um, uh, my small suitcase. I guess I can show you guys that. Hold on. This was turned into a pack with me video, but... I'm showing it to you after I can get to my mom's house. Okay, this is the little suitcase that I have with me. It's got two front pockets. I had my uh, charger in here. And then I can't remember what I had in here. But then I have a couple outfits. This is what I'm wearing to the party. This is for me to wear today because I want it to be comfortable. And then I have my, the, under here is the dress that I'm wearing to church on Sunday. And then I have pajamas and um, undergarments and things and socks. So, yeah.
that's what's in there. I think that if I was going to be doing like an overnight where I only needed one outfit, I definitely can fit everything in that bag and then probably take my tote bag with me to put my um, other things in. And like I said, I probably would only take one of the big toiletry bags. So yeah, that was everything that I packed for this trip. Like I said, I cannot remember what I had in here. It'll come to me later on. Um, and yeah, let me show you the little um, charger that was in this front pocket. I forgot to say that I also had my iPad and my Kindle in my tote bag. Um, so this is like my little charging station. I had some hot tea last night. These are usually in my purse, um, lotion, uh, lip gloss, and hand sanitizer. And I had a, some water to stay hydrated. Um, right now, I'm presently in my mom's guest room. I used to stay in here a lot when I would come and visit. But then once my sister and the twins were staying here, this became like their room. And so I'm only sleeping in here tonight because tonight when they come, the twins are going to sleep in here. Um, and so this is my little charger where I can charge almost everything. I took this with me on the trip to Florida. I got my Apple Watch charger my earbuds my kindle charger i can put like six things and be charged on this one station which i really love and like i said and this is my tech bag that has all of my stuff in it i got that when i got ready to go to orlando and i love it excuse my sniffling my sinuses have been acting crazy ever since i got to my mom's house i don't know if it's because i'm in the country or what it is um so yeah I've been taking some vitamin C and I even like I said I had honey and tea last night so yeah that was everything that I packed for this trip um iPad and uh Kindle went in this little bag so and yeah that was everything I packed I am going to sit and read a book until my mom is up fix us some breakfast and then start our day um and i'll either end with this video and just have it be like a packing video a vlog style packing video and then um then maybe start a new vlog with today's activities and then have a separate vlog for saturday's birthday party uh, maybe even show you guys all the prepping um, us setting up I have to talk to my family and figure out who's coming to help us set up because I don't need know that my sister and I would get much work done if it was just us with the twins yeah that's going to be interesting we have seven little people coming this weekend my twin nieces are going to be there and then we have twin cousins a lot of twins running our family on my side and my husband's side. My husband is a twin, if you don't know. Um, and his mom had another set of twins that unfortunately did not live very long. And I'm trying to think, but in my side, on my side of the family, there are a lot of twins. Like my, I had uncles that were twins. I have cousins um, who are gonna be helping us this weekend that are a set of twins. Um, we've had, I've had younger cousins who've had two younger cousins who've had a set of twins like um, one of my aunts um, both of them have passed away now they were a set of twins they were my grandmother's sisters so yeah twins run in our family and so yeah I am I won't be shocked at it if one of my children ever has children that they won't have a set of twins because there's just that many so I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I am. Um, I think I might go and make me some more tea. Although I'm trying not my best not to make too much noise because I don't want to wake my mom up. So maybe I'll wait a little bit on that. But anyway, that is what is going on with me, and I will see you guys later. If I end this video and start with a new one, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed. What are you waiting for? And if you'd like to know when the next video will come out, 
all you have to do is hit that little notification bell. So until I see you next time, guys, have a blessed day. Bye.